past fatal heart impact past painful starts in fact i blast tasteful thoughts and past i back up my actions fact don't ask grab reactions jack attack with every word and act with class as they hear me snap i got nothing to lose because i fought and felt the bruise now i'm not the one confused call the shots and they produce i ain't lost i'm finally loose pick a new so bird's juice i need the views to boost me to a new abuse of being used everybody wants a piece now y'all can rest in peace now you're dead to me so peace out remember you're discreet now. Get ready for Alrighty, hello, hello everybody, this is Kiru Show here, and now, whenever we last left off, with this series, we had Izuku Midoriya, and, well, what happened in the last part? Midoriya discovered in the last part, after going to meet with and talk to Toga exactly how far away she is in her own head. Mentally, she is still somewhat there. She did recognize Midoriya and actually try to hug him. Her mind lashed on something familiar whenever she saw him. However, she's still showing certain tendencies that a lunatic would show. And, S.H.I.E.L.D. is currently using an anti-venom serum to keep Carnage at bay. However, they claim that it's running out. Now, Bedoya did also learn in the last part that in Kamino, there was an attack. And that pro heroes lost their quirks. Now, we actually do have Midoriya, and Jiro, who, after Midoriya did explain to Jiro that he needs to go there, she left with him. Midoriya and her swinging through the city, as they eventually got to Kamino. Now, with that being said, we do actually pick up in the hospital, where Midoriya, he does walk in. Him without the toxin symbiote on. As Midoriya is walking to the hospital and trying to find familiar faces. Now, Midoriya, he is walking around. As people are informing him that he cannot be here right now. Midoriya just pushes these people out of the way as he walks through a crowd of people. Now, Midoriya, he then actually does bump into some familiar faces, as he does just walk into the hospital room and see Buck Gokotsky, who himself has been injured. Now, Midoriya does his turn around, multiple people seeing him and recognizing his face, as he does just ask exactly what happened here. Hmm? Is that... No way. How are you... That's not important right now. What happened to Bakugo? Hmm. Karashima is standing there. As his arm is in a cast. Doria, looking at him as he does say that it happened back in Kamino. They were all attacked. They weren't expecting it. These guys, the Yakuza. They threw everything they could at them. And then, whenever the heroes thought they won, it just happened too quickly. It was an anti-quirk weapon. Hmm? Yeah. Anti-quirk weaponry. There was the gas. And everyone was confused. Quirks went haywire. Quirks stopped working. Yeah, I was lucky. From what doctors do say, some of our quirks will return. However, it was getting hit by a bolt that would screw you over. Bakugo, he... He lost his quirk. What? Bakugo lost his quirk. You're kidding me, right? No, he... He protected a civilian. He didn't know it was a cork destroyer. 
He thought the guy just had a regular gun. I mean, he was ready to get shot. Damn it. If only we mobilized sooner, had any information to tell us that they were doing this. We would have been prepared. We would have had gas masks. We would have Kirishima. Him looking up at Midoriya. As he does just say that, that's not important right now. Is there any way to restore his quirk? Hmm? No, not that we know of. Now, multiple people would begin to walk away. Meanwhile, the class members of Class 1A formerly are still standing there. As Midori would catch up with a few people. Along with some of them being surprised to see the musician who did leave UA. Now, none of them hold any ill will towards her. In fact, it was quite reasonable for her to leave, especially since she lost her quirk. Now, with that being said, we actually do have Midoriya, who he does see Ochako, who is just looking down at Bakugo as she herself doesn't look like she's doing too well. Midoriya asking her if she's okay. Hmm? Oh, um, yeah, I'll be okay. <sighs> However, I got hit with a cork destroyer too. Oh, I'm sorry, Ochako. Yeah. <sighs> I did get enough money though for my parents. It should help them for a while if they stretch it. Hmm. That's understandable. <sighs> but. Can you do me a favor? Hmm? What do you mean? Midori looking around the room and saying that he knows this sounds greedy, but he knows where Toka is. Hmm? What? That villain? Yeah, sorry, Yuzuku, we're not going to help you take her down. No, it's not like that. Currently, she's in a straitjacket in an insane asylum. Hmm? What? You can't be serious. Yeah. In fact, well... Everybody, give me your hands. I'll show you what's actually been happening for the last five years. Hmm? Izuku, you can't honestly think that's a good idea. Jiro and Karashima do both say. Everybody actually looking at both of these two. Hmm? Wait a minute, you know? K Kirishima, you know? Of course I know. All Might told me just before he... Hmm. Wait. Why, why does All Might know? Hmm. Kirishima, do they know about it? <sighs> oh, of course they do. I explained it to everybody. Damn it! So you all know about One for All, but you don't know about the symbiotes. Hmm? You, everybody confused. Midoriya knows about One for All? Kirishima explaining, of course he knows about it. He's the one who recommended him to All Might. Now, Midoriya does show them his memories. Skipping over a little bit of things here and there that they don't need to see. Now, they do learn about Toga and the fight that put Midoriya into a coma, where she was, quote-unquote, in a happy place, everybody being deeply disturbed by it. However, then there was the way she was acting whenever Midoriya regained, or she regained, her senses after carnage was put down, temporarily. Midoriya does inform them that if he can get their help, if she can recognize them, they might be able to save her. They might be able to pull her back from the void. Now, a lot of them, they are hesitant to help. 
especially because of the way she's been acting the last couple years. And for the fact that she's come close to killing a few of them when they have been in the same city. Now, Ochako does actually say that she will help, since she will still be a hero. Midoriya actually at least smiling over at her. As Kirishima does actually say that he'll stay here with Bakugo then. Hmm? Kirishima, are you sure that's a good idea? Ochako goes on stating. Him telling Ochako that Bakugo will want someone here whenever he does wake up. Plus, he's going to be going through a lot. Now, Midoriya does just walk over to Bakugo. Looking over at his charts, as he does see everything that is wrong with him. Damn. They really got you, didn't they? Now, Midoriya does just hold his hand out over Bakugo, telling Toxin to heal him. Now, Toxin does do this. Everybody watching as a black goo goes spewing out of Midoriya's hand, and then falls on a Bakugo, covering him as he does immediately just sit up, before standing on his feet, before Bakugo does ask what happened. Hey, what do you to say? Bakugo getting a rundown within a few seconds. Him actually frozen there trying to process everything. As the Simi does return back to Midoriya. Now, they all do ask if Midoriya has had this type of power since he was first in Class 1A. Him explained that yes, and he used the same power to heal All Might whenever he was injured. In fact, so did the other symbiotes. They healed all for one. Ah, fuck. If only we knew about it. If I told any of you about it, I would have put you all in danger. In fact, well... Midoriya is saying that they all know the team the Life Foundation does have. All those symbiotes are spawn of Venom. Hmm? Wait, I thought your symbiote was just pure black. No, this is Karja's spawn, Toga's symbiote. It's a hero. You can all laugh now. Dorita say, talking about how they need to head back to Shield headquarters. Hmm? Shield. Forget I ever said those words. Dorita and Jiro then leaving. As. We actually do have Midori who does call into S.H.I.E.L.D. As he does talk with Nick Fury. Now, Midoriya, he does try to explain to Nick Fury that he's bringing people in to see Toga. And all of them are familiar faces from back in the day. Now, Nick Fury is obviously against this telling Midoriya that this is where he's going to draw a line with him. He has access to S.H.I.E.L.D. technology, S.H.I.E.L.D.'s information. In fact, he has a direct line to the man in charge. But, the way he's operating currently right now, he's going to give him one of two options. He can bring those people in and actually work as an official agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., or, he can do one of two things. He can simply set things up for Toka at a later date, for her to talk to her friends. Now, he does go and explain to Midoriya what he's going to do. He can send her to this hospital. S.H.I.E.L.D. already does have some sensitive individuals there. And, whenever she's there, he can take the friends there to visit. Now, Midoya would ask how long that would take. Mr. Fury informed Midoya it would take about one to two weeks. However, Midoya does ask exactly how long does the anti-venom serum still remain active. Nick Fury telling Midoya it will take about one to two weeks. Now, Midoya, he knows he's running out of time. So, he takes a shortcut, telling Fury that he's bringing his friends in now. 
to which he does then say, Welcome aboard, Agent Toxin. Do I hang up the phone? As we do have a few hours later. Or roughly, let's say an hour later, where a jet does stop at the hospital and pick them all up. I have one confused as they would board, before being taken to this unknown location. Now, Agent Venom is there to actually greet Midoriya, as he's the only symbiote present. Now, Midoriya, he does notice this immediately, asking Venom where his friends are. Hmm? They are not my friends, they are my teammates, and I do not keep tabs on them, as if you would. Hmm. Cut it. Now listen to me. Where is Fury? Hmm? Fury is currently indisposed right now. However, you need to know, this is going too far. As your commanding officer, I demand you, would I bring his hand up? As he does actually put it directly on the Venom symbiote, telling him that he's not his commanding officer. Before he does this, push past him. Telling I want to follow him. Hmm? Where are we? We're currently in a shield bunker. You know how I told you to forget about me saying that word? Forget it. This place doesn't exist. And everyone you see here, their faces don't exist either. Now. Everybody does eventually come in front of the cell Toga is currently in. As Midoriya, he does just look inside. Jiro actually walked up next to him as Midoriya did put his hand on the glass, saying that this is currently how she is now. Hmm. I can't believe it. Yeah. All of our friend is left there. She's just a cell of her former self. This is what Carnage did to her. Roy actually bong his hand into a fist. As Jiro actually does, reach her hand out and grab, oh, grab Midoriya. Midoriya actually unballing his hand as she does slip her fingers into Midoriya's. Now, he does then walk over by the door, pressing a particular set of buttons as it does open. Now, Ochako does actually walk inside, and she is surprised whenever Toga got up to try and run. Now, this one of her Bakugo and Karashima did actually stop her. As, surprise, surprise, she just does stare at these three for a minute, before they do try and talk to her. Now, Nick Fury himself does walk up, surprising Midoriya. I just turn and look at him. Hmm? So exactly what the hell are you doing here? I thought you were indisposed. The real Nick Fury is. However, you are currently talking to an LMD. Model number 236-785-839. How may I be of service? I will take a message for the real Nick Fury. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> a robot. Fun. Listen to me. I am not joining S.H.I.E.L.D. Hmm. I, however, am making sure my friend doesn't go back to that dark spot where Carnage is. I want to speak to your scientist about this goo. And I want to at least propose something. Now, Minoya does propose his idea to the LMD. To which it then does walk away, saying that it will give its message to Director Fury in just a few minutes. Now, with that being said, Midoriya, he does actually go to walk into the room, along with Jiro. As they do sit with her, well, sit with Toga for a few hours. Now, Toga does show signs of improvement along with her actually falling asleep. Now, 
The moment she does fall asleep is whenever everybody does get out, get up and walk out of the room. As Nick Fury, a possible LMD, is still waiting there. And asks them exactly what the hell are they doing. Hmm? We're checking up on our friend. I understand that. However, what are you doing? Hmm? Me? You know what I'm doing. I told you, you are a part of S.H.I.E.L.D. now. You don't own me, Fury. I draw the line here. However, your proposition does show promise. Hmm? Proposition? What did you tell him, Midoriya? Don't worry about it. I understand it does. However, I also do want to look at your research team and learn about this anti-venom weapon. Hmm. Kid, that's far too classified for you to look, even look into. However, you can at least help study the serum. That part is what we do need tested. There's multiple batches of it. If we can even at least show that it does hurt a symbiote, then that would be good. Now, Midoriya, he would then walk off with this life model decoy. Or is it even the real Nick Fury? Now, with that, everybody does actually stay there confused. Until Agent Venom does walk up and inform all of them about how they must leave the building now. Now, with that being said, they do go to leave. As they, or at least somebody, is stopped on the way out with a proposition from S.H.I.E.L.D. Now, with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Have an amazing night. Catch you guys in the next part.